vintage 1980s and 1990s changeables McDonald's food transformers. If you don't know about these, these are a great bolo item. Uh, they do pretty well and they usually sell pretty quickly. This one, I had the little carry case. I got this at a garage sale. I paid $3 for it and I sold it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And on this channel, I teach about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully source low and sell for a nice profit. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my bread and butter Bolos. Those are Bolo items that I sell on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's get started with the first item. And this actually came out of a thrift store mystery box. And from my experience, most of the Ben 10 items are, you know, lower dollars. So this one I feel like sold pretty well for $17.50. This is the Omniverse Gravitac, and it's 4.25 inches tall. It's an action figure toy. And um, yeah, he's Ben 10. And let me show you, see if I can, there's his foot. It says CN, is that a B? I don't know. I used a Google lens. That's how I figured it out. But they are marked on the feet. The next item is this Longenberger Pottery Collectors Club Miniature Milk picture, Pitcher with Box. And I got a really big money set. It was like a a tea set, a miniature tea set at the same sale. This one took longer to sell, but that uh, collector set, wow, it sold for big money and it sold quick. But this little picture was a little more long tail, but I still sold it for $30 plus shipping and I paid $5 for that at a garage sale. The next item is this signed IA pendant, Damas Damascene, I don't know how to say that, Damascene gold tone with black enamel, oval shaped. And I was able to find another one that was like this by uh, using keywords. And this actually sold pretty quickly. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for $24.50 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage 1980s and 1990s changeables McDonald's food transformers. If you don't know about these, these are a great bolo item. Uh, they do pretty well and they usually sell pretty quickly. This one, I had the little carry case. I got this at a garage sale. I paid $3 for it and I sold it for $35 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $50 and two cents for that with tax and shipping. The next item is this vintage Lewis Marks truck. This took a long time to sell. If I remember correctly, this came out of a thrift store mystery box. I ended up taking a best offer of $12 plus shipping on that. This here is a Creative Memories refill, 12 sheets, seven by seven. And this came from that garage sale where I bought all of the Creative Memories stuff, like her entire collection. I sold this for $11.90 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Mason's trucker hat, snapback, York, right, cryptic, Masonic, yellow, see details. Um, there is the tag. And that's what it looks like. I got this at, I think it was at a garage sale and it was probably a dollar. I sold it for $24.49 and the buyer paid shipping on that. This is Daniel Tiger. And I do pretty good with these little figures. FRC Daniel Tiger toy set, two figures here. You got the tiger and the owl. I got these at a thrift store for 10 cents and I sold these for $8 plus shipping. Here's another Creative Memories 12 by 12 white scrapbook refill pages. And I feel like I priced these items pretty competitively and they have been flying out of, out of my store. $15.40 plus shipping on this one. Here's another one. Or did I do it twice? Maybe I just did it twice. Sorry about that. This is a high chair. Oh, what did I do here? Okay, I 
think that was a non-payment. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so here we go. This is a patch. It's an Ohio patch. I have two of them available. One sold. It sold for a best offer of $7.50 plus shipping. And if I remember correctly, that came from a thrift store in like a bag of patches. This one right here, you guys, I was at the Goodwill Benz and it was sealed. So I just grabbed it. I don't do a lot of CDs or media stuff like that. Um, but because it was sealed, I thought I would try it. This is major bread and butter, but cost of goods, $1.79 a pound. I probably had what a quarter, 50 cents in this. And I ended up taking a best offer of $5 plus shipping. And it sold a lot quicker than I expected. This is a Brio train set. It's uh, the train and the cargo cars here. I got this at the Goodwill bins. So I dug it out of the bottom of the bins, $17.50 plus shipping on that. And I do have Ben's videos on this channel and I had a bunch recorded and ready to go and I accidentally deleted a bunch of my footage. So sorry guys, um, I need to get back up there, but I'm trying to get all of that stuff listed and it's garage sale season. So there will be more Ben's videos in the future, but I probably have, I don't know, between seven or eight uh, if you wanna look back on some of those. This is an Ice King Bear plush frog stuffed animal. He's super cool. He also came from the Goodwill bins and I sold him for $17.50 plus shipping. This right here is this Gooey Louie brain game. And I got this at a garage sale and I decided to part it out. I just wanted to see if I could sell these gooey boogers. <laughs> They're boogers. It's for a booger game. It's a weird game. Um, but I sold this for $11.20 plus shipping. So if you ever see this game at a garage sale, uh, if you sell it with the game, it's heavier and this is going to keep you in first class. So I went ahead and parted it out. The next item is this vintage Eastwick mini mohair witch bear. It is uh, Boyd's new old stock with tags. And I sold this for $12.59 plus shipping. This right here is the VTech GoGo -Go Corey Carson DJ Train Tracks Multicolor Lights Sound Replacement. And this is VTech. And they do make the little cars. Um, what are they called? Smart. Can't think of what they're called right now. But they have lights and sound. But I've never seen the train. I had to use Google Lens for this. I got this at the Goodwill Benz and I sold it for $9 plus shipping. This is a pet shop. And I left the sticker. I left the sticker on it, you guys. Ah, that's embarrassing, right? Um, I got this in a thrift store mystery box and it must have been something that was at a garage sale and then somebody donated it to the thrift store and it ended up in a mystery box because it still has the garage sale sticker on it. Can you believe I did that? I just left it. I knew it and then I left it. I uh, sold this for $25 plus shipping. The next item is this Mega Blocks. Uh, 9301 Plantazoids Repzillion Replacement Figures and Vehicles. So I had the set. The set was not complete. So I took the figures and the vehicle and I sold them separately. And then I have a bunch of the replacement pieces that are still listed. I sold these alone for $29.10 plus shipping. Here's just a patch. It's Appalachian Trail, Maine to Georgia patch, blue, yellow, and white. I basically just wrote what was on the patch. This came from a thrift store and a bunch of patches. I sold this for $7.50 plus shipping. This is a vintage uh, Mattel Disney's Princess Sparkling Bell Barbie doll. The box was damaged. I bought this from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. It was a big lot of vintage toys and all of the packaging was damaged. I have an unboxing video of that and I tell you exactly what I did to maximize my profits on that box. It was a great box. I've done really, really well for it. I ended up taking a best offer of $30 plus shipping on this. This is a Teletubby. It's from 1998. And you guys are probably looking at me like, did you really list that? But more importantly, you're probably wondering, did that really sell? Yes, it really did. Look at the paint loss. Look at its cheek. I listed it because it was a Teletubby. And Teletubbies are hard to find. They are collectible. This guy is a mess. And he still sold. I did take a best offer of $7 happily for him and the buyer paid shipping. And I got that at a garage sale for a quarter. This is vintage Sandy Lion uh, teapots and teacups. They are stickers. It is one sheet. And I got these at a garage sale for a quarter and I sold them for $14 plus shipping. 
I am not going to read any words today. This is a Dr. Seuss. Um, it's kind of like a workbook um, for kids. And it's got some stickers in it. And I don't know. I saw it and I picked it up. Um, nope, I'm sorry. I didn't pick this up. This came in a thrift store mystery box. But I decided to list it. Uh, I sold this for $10 plus shipping. The next item are these doll chairs lot. What a horrible title. Um, I had questions like, will this fit a Barbie? Will this, I'm like, I don't know what it fits. It's just something I picked up at a garage sale and it sat in my money pile forever. And I finally listed it. So they bought this and they bought these Barbie pants. And they bought the two items for $30.79 plus shipping. The next item is this Argo Powdered Gloss Laundry Starch Blue Advertising Collectible Item. It is vintage. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold it for uh, $15.40 plus shipping. This little Hallmark Precious Lamb Cross Stuffed Animal uh, Plush Chevron Toy Easter Retire. This came from um, a thrift store. I paid $2 for it. Sold that for $14 plus shipping. And I think I have a video of me sourcing that as well. This one here, I have had forever, like forever, back when I started doing hard goods. I just thought it was cool. Uh, they're vintage Joggalite safety hotspots and shoe tapes. <laughs> uh, I got it. I don't even know where I got it, but I sold it for $7.30 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This here is the Bon Ami vintage cleaning cake soap. I got this at the same place as that Argo. And I sold this one really fast for $11.20 plus shipping. And that was also at a dollar at a garage sale. This is a vintage Christmas village putts house. If you are not familiar with these, definitely be on the lookout. They do pretty good. This one's in horrible condition. Um, people will get these and they will fix them up and tweak them to their own style. But they are made in Japan. And sometimes people will buy them for the windows um, I didn't do a very good job of getting a close-up of the window, but if you look right here, people sometimes just need the windows. I ended up selling this for $19.60 plus shipping, and I got it at a thrift store for $0.50. Cents. The next item here is this vintage 1993 Pony Surprise Playful Hair Ponies by Hasbro, and it's plush and plastic. And this came from a garage sale. I paid a quarter for it. And I ended up taking a best offer of $20 plus shipping on that guy. So what do you guys think? How many of those items would you have walked past? Which one was your favorite bread and butter? And let me know in the comments how you found the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And if you turn on that bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. Thank you again so much for being here. And thanks for watching.